Did you know that the foundations of modern statistics and genetics were laid by one man? A man whose work continues to influence scientific research to this day. Meet Ronald Fisher, a pioneering genius who transformed the way we understand data and evolution. Ronald Aylmer Fisher was born on February 17, 1890 in London. Despite suffering from poor eyesight, which prevented him from serving in World War I, Fisher excelled in mathematics from a young age. He attended Harrow School, where he won the Neild Medal in Mathematics, and later won a scholarship to study at Gonville and Caius College, Cambridge. Fisher graduated with a first in mathematics in 1912. Known for his sharp mind and strong opinions, Fisher was both respected and controversial. He was described as a genius who almost single-handedly created the foundations for modern statistical science and the single most important figure in 20th century statistics. Fisher's contributions to statistics and genetics are monumental. He developed the analysis of variance, ANOVA, which became a cornerstone of statistical analysis. His work on maximum likelihood estimation and the Fisher information matrix has also had a lasting impact. In genetics, Fisher comprehensively combined Gregor Mendel's ideas with Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. His 1930 book, The Genetical Theory of Natural Selection, helped revive Darwinism in the early 20th century and laid the foundation for population genetics. Richard Dawkins declared Fisher to be the greatest of Darwin's successors, and he is considered one of the founding fathers of neo-Darwinism. Fisher's 1921 paper on mathematical statistics changed the field and has been compared to the works of Darwin in biology and Gauss in number theory. He also created methods for analyzing genetic linkage and helped understand human blood groups. From 1919 to 1933, Fisher worked at the Rothamsted Experimental Station, where he analyzed decades of crop data and developed ANOVA. This time solidified his reputation as a biostatistician. In 1925, he published Statistical Methods for Research Workers, one of the most influential books on statistical methods of the 20th century. Fisher's fame grew, and he traveled and lectured widely. However, he was also involved in controversies, such as publicly disputing the link between smoking and lung cancer, partly influenced by his own smoking habits and consultancy work for tobacco companies. Following surgery for colon cancer, Ronald Fisher passed away on July 29, 1962, in Adelaide, Australia. His remains are interred in St. Peter's Cathedral, Adelaide. Thank you for watching. See you next time on Mathematic, where we uncover more fascinating stories from the world of mathematics.